All right. What's up, everyone? It's been like two weeks since I've had a chance that I can stream again. So hopefully everyone is having a good evening. We'll be getting started shortly. Go ahead and check out a couple things. All right, looks like we are good to go, kind of. Let's go ahead and cut our system on. Should have a blue screen. That's because the retro tint is ready to go. All right, let's get right on into it so we're not wasting a whole lot of time. I know I haven't been streaming uh, very consistently late lately. I've had a lot going on. And uh, work has just kind of been keeping me just a little bit busy. Go ahead and see if we can add our Pokemon border. Go. Work's been keeping me busy, unfortunately, so I have not had as much time to be able to hop on streams. <clears throat> Let's get my volume over here in check. This game's always super loud for me. Looks like everything should be working, though. Just a little bit more. Next stream, I might try using the uh, analog pocket with the dock. It should be coming in for me soon, hopefully, by the time that the next stream will be up. It might produce uh, better quality. I mean, don't get me wrong, I love my uh, RetroTINK 5X and my uh, components and GameCube and whatnot, but. I'm always about uh, trying to get better quality. Hmm. We playing at night. <laughs> I think. Should we do a time reset? Like maybe we should. Just that we're playing in the daytime. <laughs> always stream at night though. Let's uh, see what's waiting for us on the next few routes. Got Pidgeys. Apparently Pidgeotos. Let's go ahead and cut this down just to Crystal. Pidgeys and Pidgeotos. Don't really care for the Pidgeotto right now. We've got uh, Growlithe. We already caught one. Hoot Hoot. Stantler. I can't remember if I caught the Stantler or not. I feel like I did. Sandler shows up at night anyway, so if I didn't, then uh, I can always catch one while we're running around at night. Right, Ecrotique's got some fishing spots, but mostly if you got a good rod, which I do not have one yet, and a super rod. Nearby areas during the daytime. Catch a Meryl. Meryl's 5% chance at night. You know what? Maybe we'll play in this area at night. Everything else I feel like we've caught. This is me trying to see if I should uh, do anything to restart and set up the time at night. Hmm. There's a Tauros that can be caught in the areas next to Eka, Ecrotique City. That's going to be 5% chance, though. Also, Meowth at night. And we're just going to be kind of all over the place. So if I want a Auros and that... I think we'll do that. I think we will set it today for now. We'll catch some Mons, and then we will go ahead and put the time back to the way it was 
Oh. I always hate having to reset the time though, because it's such a pain. I have to come down here. I gotta input my name. My ID. I gotta put how much monies I have in game. I gotta do the soft reset. I for I had forgotten the uh, combination. Reset the oh man. I always get scared <laughs> that I'm gonna end up screwing up something and uh it's gonna be like the uh delete save file thing. Cause they're so similar in input. And Crystal's got it all weird and wonky. I also found out you can't do it in uh Japanese crystal. Can't reset the time there. Thought that was interesting. Though so someone's post about it. So now it's going to ask us to set the time. It'll still be Sunday. We're just going to set it to 9.19 a.m. Alright. Oh, look, there's our little pseudo wudo. This is a pseudo wudo that we ended up catching. Leveled it up to 26 right alongside everyone else. I don't know if pseudo wudo is super, super useful or not, but... uh. Go ahead and deposit him. Actually, I, I like doing move Pokemon. I know that you have to deal with like some extra saving shenanigans, but I like it better. Let's grab this pseudo Udo and uh, drop him here at the bottom of box three. Also caught that Yanma, finally. Took a bit, you can see tons of Pokemon level 26. This extra Yanma that I caught too. Oh. Uh, what do we got here? Free slot. What are we missing? Totodile, Chikorita, Cyndaquil still here, Mareep, Ghastly. Guess this will do for now. And I like to get that Ghastly. Learn something that would uh, help it a little more. I was busy looking at the uh, chat there for a second. Alright, so we've cleared out this path, caught all these trainers. I didn't fight this guy though. I think you can only fight him at night. Let's see if we remember to swing on by and uh, fight him again. Also, I think this guy wanted to... There was a guy that wanted me to deliver something. And I don't remember where the heck he was. I know there's a guy that's like, Hey, can you deliver this Pokemon with this letter for me or whatever? Is it this guy? You do a guy a favor. You think this Pokemon will mail to my friend? He's on Route 31. Sure. You will? Perfect. Thanks, kid. My pal's a chubby guy who snoozes all the time. You'll recognize him right away. You receive a Pokemon with mail. You can read it, but don't lose it. Oh yeah, there was a weird tree blocking the road. I wonder if it's been cleared. You can read it, but don't lose it. Alright, he, he gave us permission to read it. Kenya! Kenya is a female Spearow. And it's gonna be holding a letter, huh? Oh, yeah. Mail. Read. Dark cave leads to another road. Randy.
Get the other... Oh, yeah, we, we've already done most of this. What is going on? Hold up. Because I'm pushing stuff, and it is doing all sorts of wonky stuff. I feel... This, up, this get bigger for some reason. Made it smaller, make it bigger. We don't need to be that zoomed in. This is where we're at. Alright. So I'm fairly confident I've caught every Pokemon that I can in this general route. We're going to be taking a little detour over to... Ooh, tree. To route 31. I've been doing a lot of Mystery Gift 2 with the... Little girl in Pokemon Stadium 2 slowly filling out my room. Although most of the time she just gives me X attacks and all of those other battle items and I'm like, ugh, I don't, I don't really care for this. Why are we still not riding our bike? I had to get used to it. I think I know who the trainer is going to be. I think he's going to be the guy right over this here. Obtain the bitter berry. Zzz, huh? What's that? You have mail for me. Lee handed over the Pokemon holding the mail. Let's see. Dark cave leads to another road. That's good to know. Thanks for bringing this to me. My friend's a good guy. And you're swell too. I like to do something good in return too. I know. I want you to have this. Lee received TM50. What the heck is TM50? Nightmare. It's a wicked move that steadily cuts the HP of a sleeping enemy. Ooh, that's scary. I don't want to have bad dreams. Oh man, do we lose Kenya? I think we lose Kenya as a result. Yep, we lose Kenya. Oh well. Kenya's in good hands. Kenya was with us. Very short-lived was Kenya with us. Excuse me, uh, Letiba. We already have you. I'm not even gonna bother fighting you. I just wanna get the heck out of here. We're trying to get to Ecrutique City, which should be a fairly short trip, really. That's why I put in the uh, title and beyond, because I feel like we'll probably get done with everything in Ecrutique. Pretty quick, I want to say. At the very least, I want to explore the surrounding areas and catch any Pokemon there. I think we will have trainer battle here. Yep. And 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 I are in this together. And later on, you guys being in this together is going to lead us to some double battles. But not in this game. Twins Ann and Ann want a battle. They sent out Jigglypuff. You know the one Pokemon type that a uh, Ghastly can't deal with. I can't nightshade it, I can't lick it, I can't hypn- I mean, I could hypnosis, but... Let's send out Mareep. I know a bunch of my Pokemon could have probably evolved by now, but... I've, uh, I'm in no rush, and I'm overleveled anyway. So I, uh, want to see if I can get them to learn all of their major moves before they're level 50. Of course you got Disable. Why wouldn't you have Disable? Oh, we'll tackle you. Oh yeah, that's right. Mareep is a traded Pokemon. Twins Ann and Ann are about to use Clefairy. Wanna switch Pokemon? Yep. Let's give Chikorita some spotlight. Razor Leaf. I would have stuck with Marie, but unfortunately, uh, I got slapped with an annoying technique. Speaking of slap, I'm getting double slapped. Twins, Ann and Ann, were defeat- was defeated. Was defeated? Shouldn't it be were defeated? Hmm, a little too strong. We got 320 for winning and since I'm home to mom. We share the same feelings as our Pokemon. That's nice. I can tell what my sister and Pokemon are thinking. Neat, maybe you guys are little psychics in the making. 
Pokemon can't do a thing if they are asleep. I'll show you how scary that is. I'm hoping you're, you're gonna use a drowsy. I mean, you are a psychic. Hey, it's a drowsy. I'm not. I'm not too worried. This Ghastly can deal with you. Ghastly, go ahead and use Nightshade. That has the same sound effect as Psychic from Gen 1, and I keep mentioning that. Ah, you didn't put me to sleep. Ah, that means you lost. Psychic Greg was defeated. I lost. That's pretty sad. We got 544 for winning and sent some home to mom. Putting Pokemon to sleep or paralyzing them are good battle techniques. I agree. Route 37. Oh, that takes us right into Akriti. What's down here? Ooh, plants. Red Apricorn. What's this have? Blue Apricorn. Black Apricorn, I assume, is BLK. Hi! I'm Sunny of Sunday, meaning it's Sunday today. I was told to give you this if I saw you. Lee received Magnet. Neat. I'm gonna have to, like, get into my other games real quick and pick this up. That thing. Um, what was it now? Oh, I remember now. A Pokemon that knows electric moves should hold it. My sis Monica said it powers up electric moves. Oh, you already know who we're gonna give it to for now. Mareep. We are gonna give you a magnet. I wonder if I can get more magnets. Or if I'm gonna have to trade them over from my gold and silver copies. This is my main game. I'm going to practice at the dance theater. Care to join me? I mean, right now I just care about uh, exploring this area. Ah, you're on an adventure with your Pokemon? Oh, what an advent! What's an adventure about treasure hunting? Am I right or am I right? I guess, yeah. Good, you understand the true spirit of adventure. I like that. Take this with you. Lee received the item finder. Did I ever pick up the item finder in Gen 1? I don't think I did. They put the item finder in the key pocket. There are many items lying about that aren't obvious. Use the item finder to check if there is an item on the ground near you. It doesn't show the exact spot, so you'll have to look yourself. Oh yeah, I heard there are items in Ecrotique's burnt tower. I guess that's a hint to go check that out. What's your book or magazine or order? History of Ecrotique. Want to read it? Yes. In Ecrotique, there were two towers. Each tower was the roost of powerful flying Pokemon, but one of the towers burnt to the ground. The two Pokemon haven't been seen since. Keep reading, yes. Ecrotik was also home to three Pokemon that raced around the town. They were said to have been born of water, lightning, and fire. Oh, the three legendary beasts. But they could not contain their excessive power, so they say the three ran like the wind off into the grassland. What is this? Oh, it's an incense burner. This, oh, Ecrotik Pokemon City Gym, Leader Morty, the Mystic Seer of the future. Is he a psychic type? Trainer? Hi, I'm Bill, and who are you? Hmm, Lee, huh? You've come at the right time. I just finished adjustments on my time capsule. You know that Pokemon can be traded, right? My time capsule was developed to enable trades with the past. But you can't send anything that didn't exist in the past. If you did, the PC in the past would have a breakdown. So you have to remove anything that wasn't around in the past. Put simply, no sending new Pokemon or new Pokemon... No... What? No new Pokemon moves or new Pokemon in the time capsule. Don't you worry, I'm done with the adjustments. Tomorrow, time capsules will be running at all Pokemon centers. I have to hurry on back to Goldenrod and see my folks. Bye bye Neat. 
Morty, the gym leader, is so cool. His Pokemon are really tough, too. The way the Kimono Girls dance is marvelous, just like the way they use their Pokemon. Lake of Rage, the appearance of a Gyarados swarm. I smell a conspiracy, I know it! Let's go ahead and heal while we're here, I guess. the blank house. There's the mart. What are we doing on Pokeballs, actually? Got nine Pokeballs left and five Great Balls. We're gonna have to start buying uh, Pokeballs finally soon. Ah, child, have you learned to dance like the Kimono Girls? If you go to their dance theater, an odd old man will give you something nice, I hear. A critique dance theater. Let's explore the rest of the town first. A critique city, a historical city where the past meets the present. A critique used to have two towers, one one each in the east and the west. What's this? You know, or walk away from me each time I try to talk to you. Two towers, two Pokemon. But when one burned down, both Pokemon flew away, never to return. The Tin Tower ahead is a nine-tier tower of divine beauty. It soothes the soul of all who see it. Tin Tower is off-limits to anyone without Ecrotique's gym badge. Sorry, but you'll have to leave. Isn't he fast? Look at him. Fine. The tower that used to be here. My grandma told me it used to be much taller. I mean, if it burnt down. Oh, this actually looks like it's burnt down. I'm going to save because I can't remember if anything happens. If we go in or not. But this is also crystal. And the, the legendary beasts were supposed to be here. So I don't know if something weird will happen. Yusin. Yusin? Yusin? I don't know how to pronounce his name. My name's Yusin. I'm on the trail of a Pokemon named Suiquin. Wait, what did you say your name was? Is that an onomatopoeia? Like, is that a rearrangement of these letters? Yusuin? Or is it like just... I don't know. I feel like there's a connection there. That I may have never noticed when I played Hard Gold. And you are? Lee, glad to meet you. I heard rumors that Suiquin is in this burnt tower, so I came to look. But where exactly could it be? Morty. Egerty's gym leader has to study what are said to be the legendary Pokemon Suiquin, Entei, and Raikou. Esuin here is so... Esuin is here, so I've decided to investigate the tower with him. Oh, so Morty is here, so it's not like I can even proceed with the story, I guess, if I want to fight the gym. This happened when I was young. The sky suddenly turned black. A giant flying Pokemon was blocking out the sun. I wonder what that Pokemon was. It was like a bird and a dragon. Is there really a Pokemon that big? If it exists, it must be powerful. Hey, how's it going, yo -yi? Just here playing some Pokemon Crystal, since I never played it before. Going for a shiny Suicune? I don't think I, I don't think I have the patience for that. I'm mostly uh, playing through uh, Crystal and uh, the Gen 2 games to see if I can beat uh stadium 2 on the 64 i'm playing through it myself again nice this is my first playthrough so uh, i'm trying to see what little differences exist i think the 
first difference I saw was that Morty is up there. Pronounced Suicune? What did I say? I'm gonna go into the gym since Morty's up there. Morty, the gym leader is absent. Sorry, but you'll have to leave. Oh, oh, oh. oh he just literally shoved me out the door. <laughs> I love Gen 2. Gen 2 is probably one of my favorite ones. It serves as the beacon fell ill. Sounds like they are in trouble. Right, let's see what's in the immediate areas. To each side. You got anything of use to say? Mount Mortar is like a maze inside. Be careful, don't get lost in there. Route 42, Ecrotic City to Mahogany Town. Mount Mortar, Waterfall Cave inside. Oh, we found an Ultra Ball. Oh, it seems to be like something weird hidden somewhere like here, right? There's nothing down here. And we would have to surf otherwise to get over there. It's gonna be dark in here. I'm working almost endgame now trying to get the 8th badge. Yeah, I've, I've, I try to do at least get one gym badge a stream. And I end up over leveling like crazy. Oh, we're not gonna bother fighting the, the Geodude. I wanna see what's uh, in here. It looks like I'm gonna have to need Surf, so... This little uh, jaunt over here seems like very short felt. Oh no, Ghastly, run! It's your mortal enemy, Rattata, which you can't lick or hit for whatever reason. You can't hit a Zubat, though, but we're not concerned about Zubat right now. Yeah, I usually do my leveling off-stream, uh, off just not to bore anyone that happens to be watching. That's how uh, I like to do it. Try to stay about 10 levels above whatever the uh, encounter rate is for whatever the most recent route I'm in is. Ooh, hello Machop. Let's see if we can add a Machop to our Pokedex. I'll worry about leveling him up to everyone else's standards later. One more lick will probably bring him down enough. My guy, you need a trainer. Good to do focus energy twice. Let's see if a regular Pokeball is enough. Gotcha, Machop was caught. Machop's data was added newly to the Pokedex. Superpower. Two foot seven inches, four to three pounds. It trains by lifting rocks in the mountains. It can even pick up a graveler with ease. Nah, no nicknames. If I ever were to give a nickname to a poem, be whichever one I finally decide on keeping once I check IVs and whatnot. Well, that's right, I had a blank spot. I was like, why do we have a Pokemon with a status effect in the party? Gonna be much on. Oh, a rock we gotta push. Potential trainer up there. Oh, other Machop. Unfortunately, we've already caught a Machop, so uh, if it doesn't have good IVs, I'll check that out later. I'm not losing this time. That implies you've lost before. It is. Did you lose to me or did you lose to somebody else? Miller. Pokemaniac Miller. Whoa! You got a Nidoking! King! I mean. Hey, thanks for the follow, Yoyi. Why do you got a Nidoking King so early? All it knows is poison <laughs> It's not gonna learn anything. I don't know if it's changed since Gen 1, but. They don't. They don't really learn anything unless you let them run their course. 
the tradable ones were able to still learn moves, but not the Moonstone evolutions. Thanks. I appreciate the follow. Miller is about to use Nidoqueen. Queen. Oh, he's got a full house of evolved Pokemon. Thanks for, uh... They're messing up my Pokedex, making my seam count get even higher. I do not have a Nidoking King or a Nidoking Queen yet, let alone a Nidorina or Nidorina. Hope you have a good night, yo -y. Ghastly way to go. We got a level 27. I lost to some kid. Got 1,020 for winning. What? Ghastly's evolving? No, he's not. Let's, uh, let's give Syndical a chance to shine. Ooh. A revive. Huh. I wonder if we can use that uh, item finder up here. There's nothing up here, apparently. I'm wondering if maybe there's something neat up here? Nope, item finder isn't responding. I wonder what the point of coming up here is then. I think we can continue to Mahogany Town. I mean, I'm not going to, but I think we can. I don't think we can go anywhere else. Ooh, it's a Golbat. We'll have a Golbat soon enough. Save our battling for actual uh, trainers. Do, 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 do. Ah, another Machop. I'm gonna assume that they are fairly common. Let's see if there's anything here. I guess not, other than a wild encounter rate. About this solitary rock. Nope, nothing here either. Oh, so we made it to the other side. Let me demonstrate the power of the Pokemon I caught. Fisher Tully wants to battle. He's gonna send out a Quillfish. We have not seen a Quillfish yet. Of course, you would have a, uh, water type. Hopefully it doesn't know a water move. A poison thing? As long as it doesn't poison me. Fisher Tully was defeated. What? That's not right. 720 for winning. Oh, Mom? Hi, Lee. How are you? Found a useful item shopping, so I bought it with your money. Sorry. It's in your PC. You'll like it. You know, you can buy less items, right, Mom? And instead, hear me out, buy me furniture for my room. Hey! This is my secret place! Get lost, you outsider! 
as there are like two other people here. What do you mean this is your secret place? How can this be your secret place if there's more people here? Pokemaniac Shane wants to battle, and he's gonna send out a Nidorina. Well, let's Ember that Nidorina. fill out my uh, Pokedex because the guy we fought in there had a Nidal Queen and Nidal King. Now this person has the Nidorino and Nidorina and we were bound to run into a Nidorans in one of the earlier routes just now. Pokemaniac Shane was defeated. I should have used my Moonstone. They got 960 for winning and sent some home to mom. You're working on a Pokedex? Wow, you must know some pretty rare Pokemon. May I please see it, please? Ah, it's good to be outside. I feel so free. I'm gonna say that given his NPC sprite, he's a hiker. Yep, he's a hiker. Diggle! Oh, diggle it. Ooh, that did way more damage than I thought I was gonna do to him. A Geo dude. Yeah, I'm gonna have to switch at this point. Let's uh, let's send out Chikorita by Benjamin's Geo dude. Trio. Edgar Benjamin was defeated. Gahaha! We got 512 for winning, sent some home to mom. Losing feels insignificant if you look at the big sky. Word to the wise, I guess. Oh man, eradicate! I mean, we don't need eradicate. We got a we got a trusty Rattata that will eventually evolve into eradicate. Oh, this is where I think we catch Meryl. This will be a good spot for leveling. Actually, let me just take on uh, one of these Eradicates since they uh, go up fairly frequent. Or, or in general, just see what the level rate of these Pokemon are and how much EXP they give, because uh, while I'm leveling off stream, I may come back to this spot. This seems like a nice little spot. I want to see that radic. We had two radicates in a row, so I want to see. Oh, they're not gonna give me another radicate now. Whatever. Let's keep going. See what's over here. Mahogany Town. Welcome to the home of the ninja. Are you off to see the Gyarados rampage at the lake? Well, there's a gym here too. While visiting Mahogany Town, try a Rage Candy Bar. <laughs> the experiment worked like a charm. Magikarp are just worthless, but Gyarados are big money makers. Welcome, how may I help you? Tiny mushrooms, slow poke tail, Pokeballs. 
Uh-uh. Can I do anything else for you? Quit. Please come again. Seems like an illegitimate shop. You're selling slowpoke tails. Since you came this far, take the time to do some sightseeing. You should head north and check out Lake of Rage right now. Right now, guys. They want us to do it right now. Pokemon do become stronger when they evolve, but they also learn moves more slowly. I stop my Pokemon from evolving too early. I make them learn certain moves before I let them evolve. Hey, see? We're on the same page, bro. What's this? Team Rocket has come back? I saw some men in black at the Lake of Rage. Go ahead and heal up our Pokemon. In particular, that Machoke. Machoke, listen to me. Machop! The Machop Lee, not a Machoke. Thank you for waiting. Your Pokemon are fully healed. Let's dump them off in the PC for now. I made it to Mahogany Town, which was not my intention. Just completely bypassed everything we were gonna do at uh, Ecrotic, huh? What's this? Is this the shop that we were just at? Yeah, it's the shop we were just at. What about you? What's over here? My favorite radio program? I'd say Pokemon music. I heard that a red Gyarados appeared at the lake. That's odd, since even ordinary Gyarados are rare in that lake. I'm guessing this guy's gonna stop me from going any further. Hiya, kid! I see you're new in Mahogany Town. Since you're new, you should try a yummy rage candy bar. Right now, it can be yours for just 300. Want one? Ah, uh, I guess. Good, savor it! the heck is a Rage Candy Bar? I mean, I, the, the item sounds familiar, but I don't remember what the heck it does or what it's even used for. Restores Pokemon HP by 20? How much does a regular potion do? Oh, so it's like a potion. I'm guessing this route will take me to the Lake of Rage. Only people headed up to the Lake of Rage have been through here lately. These trainers? Are you a trainer? You are a trainer. I can do so much of my Pokemon, it's super fun. Camper Spencer wants to battle. I'm gonna send out a Sandshrew. Cool. Alright, now we're level 27. Trying to learn Flame Wheel. Uh... Oh, question, what is Flame Wheel? See what flame moves. Twenty five. A fire type attack has a one in ten chance of inflicting a burn on the target. It's got twenty five PP. Base power sixty. As a compared to like what Ember? What's Ember like? Ember's got a base power of 40. We gotta look at Gen 2 stats. Gen 2. 
Alright, so it is 100... It is 100% accurate, 25 PP, base power 60, versus Ember, which is also 25, but only has a base power of 40. Alright, so it seems like I'm gonna want to replace Ember with Flame Wheel. It's a little stronger, about the same, it has a 1 in 10 chance of causing a burn. Also has a... Ember also has a 1 in 10 chance of causing a burn. Flame wheel, and this is Ember. Yeah, it looks like I'm gonna wanna get Flame Wheel. Seems like it's the better choice between the two. It's about to send out a Sand Slash. He's not messing around. Let's get Chikorita to level 27. A razor leaf. Oof! Well, that got us to 27 real fast. Zubat! Alright, let's give my actual starter some love right now. End up starting to level up everyone else other than uh, Mareep. Amber Spencer was defeated. Losing isn't fun at all. We got 380 for winning and sent some home to mom. Also, Syndical is trying to evolve. And the answer is no. What Chikorita is evolving? And the answer is no for Chikorita as well. Let's go ahead and set up Mareep right up here. See what we can catch up in this area. Oh, it's a centric. We're not gonna bother fighting it. It would seem that we are still above the 10th level threshold that I want for myself. Are you going to the Lake of Rage too? Let's play for a little while. My goal tonight is to advance as much as we can. Eventually I'll have to go back to Ecrity and actually do stuff over there. But for now we can just take on some battles. Usually we just end up walking around all over the place. Trying to see if we can catch any Pokemon. While I do these battles though, let's go ahead and check out our map. Anything that we can catch here that we otherwise would not be able to? Ooh! There is a far fetch to catch around here. We're definitely gonna try for that. If you know, we're not being put to sleep by Clefairy Sing. That's one turn. Oh my god, it's gonna start using Minimize. That's two turns. That's three turns. That's four turns. Man, whenever the computer puts me in one of these status effects that take a certain amount of time, it will always be five, won't it? Five turns of sleep. I am so sorry, Marie, that this is happening to you. And of course, you know, you're gonna get double slapped like four times. What? You can be asleep for longer than five turns? I thought five was the limit! Oh, we're going back and getting you healed, buddy. You took that like a champ. Picnicker Tiffany was defeated. I played too much. Lee got 400 for winning. 
Isn't Michael Ferry just the most adorable thing? A little monster putting people to sleep and then slapping it silly? What's in here? Hold it there, kiddo. The toll is a thousand to go through. Thank you very much. Did you just take a thousand of my money? They just took a thousand of my money. I didn't even have an option to say no. Some silver guy made fun of my Pokemon. Darn it, my Pokemon's great. Some silver guy? Did he mean my rival silver? Pokemaniac Ron wants to battle. He's got one Pokemon and it's a Nidoking. King. Sorry, Marie, but you are, uh... You weren't built for this fight. One singular Pokemon, it's a freaking Nidoking. King. I mean, now that we're on this route, though, I'm sticking to it. Because they charged me a thousand! What insanity was that? They charged me a thousand- They really took a thousand Poké Dollars from me. I mean, it's not like I'm broke, but that's a lot! My Nidoking King did pretty right on. It's okay for people to like different types of Pokémon. Pokémon isn't just about having the most powerful one. It is if you're playing Pokemon Stadium, lol. Do I have... We have like a million potions and berries. It's just... That little girl keeps giving me berries. And uh... And uh, Pokemon Stadium 2's uh, mystery gifting things. I'm gonna use a couple here. Give Marip at least up to 31. I love Pokemon. That's why I started. And why I'll keep collecting Pokemon. Slowbro. Man, and the best Pokemon to have out right now would have been... It would have been great to have Marie out first right now. You're using Water Gun on me. I regret to inform you, I too am a Water type. That's why I'm biting you, because you're part Psychic. Pokemaniac Ben was defeated. How could you do this to me? We got 1,140 for winning and sent some home to mom. What else do I like besides Pokemon? I keep forgetting to do the voice. Mary on the radio! I bet she's cute! <laughs> Route 43, Lake of Rage to Mahogany Town. Alright, made it to the Lake of Rage. Did my eyes deceive me? I saw a red Gyarados in the lake. But I thought Gyarados were usually blue. The Gyarados are angry. It's a bad omen. Lake of Rage, also known as Gyarados Lake. Fishing Guru's house. Ooh, can we get a new rod? Lake of Rage is actually a crater made by rampaging Gyarados. The, great, the crater filled with, with rainwater and the lake was formed. That's the story passed on from my grandpa's great-great-grandpa. It used to be that you could catch Lively Magikarp there, but I don't understand what's happening. Oh, youngster Joey's calling me. Yo, Lee, how's it going? This is Joey. Got a minute? Let's get together and battle! I promise things will be different. Route 30's where I'll be. Give me a shout when you come. Alright, later! Listen, bro. Until I get fly, I'm not doing any of these rematches with any of you guys that are like a quadrillion miles away.
I heard this lake was made by rampaging Gyarados. I wonder if there is any connection to their mass outbreak now. Alright, so can't really do anything. Guessing there's a Gyarados to catch right in the center of the lake. But uh, I can't get to the center of the lake. Far-fetched here, though. We care about you, uh, Centret, for now. There's a random trainer there for me to fight. A Pidgeotto! You know, sometimes seeing these evolved Pokemon is really tempting for me to start ev evolving my own Pokemon. I'm in a slump. Maybe it's the gear I'm using. Let's battle for a change of pace. Oh, he sent out a magic card. I mean, go total dial, scratch it. Oh, he's got a Gyarados. <laughs> This is going to be great for Mareep. Magic or may as well just let Mareep stay out here. So he has two Magic Harp and two Gyarados. Good thing I left you out. That's a lot of EXP. Fisher Marvin was defeated. I lost, but I feel better anyway. Lee got 600 for winning and sent some home to mom. What? Mareep's evolving? <laughs> no, they're not. Oh, another way to access the Lake of Rage. Full restore. Every time I see like little dead ends like that, if you ever see that in a Pokemon game, that's where you need to go. No, we need cut. I don't want to pay a thousand to use cut. Ooh, far fetched. Marie, I choose you. Marie, use Thunder Wave. Now, who do we have? That's a. That's a good contender. In terms of moves. Lick would have been great because Lick doesn't do a whole lot of damage, but they are parts. Gonna have to be Total Dial. Total Dial with Rage. Attack me. 
If it was gonna attack me, I would want it to attack me first. Now it's too late to be attacked. One more raid should drop him enough. Please don't be a crit. Perfect. Okay, ball, go! Of course! Okay, ball, go! <laughs> Gotcha! Farfetch'd was caught. Farfetch's data was added to the Pokedex. The wild duck Pokemon, 2 foot 7 inches. In order to prevent their extinction, more people have made an effort to breed these Pokemon. Give a nickname to Farfetch? Now nah, we're good. Now I have to return here with Pokemon. What happens if I try to go up this way? Am I gonna be met with a dead end? Oh, it's another far-fetched. I'm good though. We've caught enough far fetched. One's enough for me. Okay, we can get back to the Lake of Rage without ever having to talk to that house. I feel a little better now, but also a bit silly. Heal up this far fetch, dump it in the box, and grab flash cut. Wonder why it's move Pokemon without mail. Why can't you move Pokemon that have mail? Alright, this far fetched. We dropped off right here. Let's go ahead and grab Flash Cut. Add them to party. I just accidentally rode my bike right into somebody's house. Right, so now I know I don't have to pay up there. Let's go this way. We just have to deal with uh, potential battles. Here's an opportunity for Flash Cut to get some level ups. Cut! Check out how much damage Vine Whip can do. Wow, Cut is so much better in terms of just damage right now. You missed! Why did you miss? Wait! Oh my god, I lived by a sliver. Gotta grow up to be big and strong, Flash Cut. Not against that, though! I already know what's gonna happen. I'm gonna try to run, and then that's gonna use Gust on you. It's gonna ruin your day. I knew it. 
Because I knew it. Take this thunder shot. Oof, Marie's gonna be almost level 28. Flash cut grew to level 15. He's trying to learn sleep powder. Yeah, let's see what we can uh, work with here. Let's get rid of wrap. You know, sleep powder. Reap, slow down there. Pretty good EXP. Alright, then what was it? It was somewhere over here, right? Lake of Rage. Then we go up here. What is this? Why are so many trees that can be cut? A little maze? Oh my god. Lee found the rare candy, but there's no space left. <sighs> not getting rid of the quick claw, I'm not getting rid of the full heal. It is so dumb that they still have this issue where you can only carry 20 generic items. Let's see if that house over there happens to have a PC. So I went through all of this for nothing, basically, to find items that I can't take with me. I almost feel like I should just return now. Oh my gosh. I'm trying to get to that house, and I'm hoping that there's going to be a PC in there. I was wrong. You have strayed far. Here, I have meditated. Inside me, a new power has been awakened. Let me share my power with your Pokemon. Take this, child. Lee received TM-10. Do you see it? It is hidden power. It draws out the power of Pokemon for attacking. Remember this. Its type and power depend on the Pokemon using it. That's a little misleading. That's not quite how... He's not wrong, but he's also not... 100% accurate. Oh, TM43. What's this? Oh, not gonna tell me what it is. Gonna make me have to go into the backpack to see what it is. Detect. Oh wait, may as well see if that happens to be an item that I can take with me. An elixir. So, two great items up here, but I can't do anything with them because my backpack keeps getting full of nonsense. I'm getting this out of the way now. Almost made it through that whole patch of grass. Almost. Pidgeotto, you're showing up way too often for my taste right now. I'm glad we were able to run away successfully.
a rival centric. I could have gone down the other way, but I feel like I should have tried. Oh, hello, Farfetch. You're not as rare as you were in uh, Yellow Version. You show up pretty frequent. In a couple by now. Now I gotta go all the way back to the Pokemon Center. Let's enter the stupid PC. Not Bill's PC my PC, so that I can deposit stupid items. I'm just gonna deposit every last one of these berries. And the apricorns. And the rage candy bar, and the max eater, and the full restore, because I'm not going to be using any of these items anytime soon. Keep the awakenings and all that junk. We're good for now. I did not want to talk to you. I uh, wanted to talk to the nurse. But yeah, hindsight, I could have probably given some of those items to my Pokemon to hold. But it would have to be singular items. So, like, for instance, I could have given one to just for what right for right now, just hold on to the quick claw. And then that would have opened up a slot. I might have to start doing cheesy stuff like, that. oh, it's, look at you, you're a furret. Can you take on him? Oh, he's faster than you. He's faster and he's probably stronger than you. What are you going to do, flash cut? Flashka, you are getting demolished. Oh, that's it, you're dead. Wow, he was no mercy on you. Not no mercy at all. He's just like, no, you are gonna die. Well then screw you too, buddy. You know what? I'm gonna scratch your eyes out. How about that? Just like you were scratching my flash cut. All he wanted to do was gain his little bit of experience. Wow, you couldn't even let me escape the grass patch? When this game gets bitter, it gets bitter. You're telling me I didn't get attacked in any of those patches of grasses, but one, one right before I get out of the grass patch, I get attacked. I swear, there's certain things that Pokemon's game... Pokemons. Pokemon games do that I swear have to be intentional. Like, no. <laughs> no. Oh, I'm definitely hitting the beyond part in my uh, description, right? That critique and beyond. We are definitely... We are definitely in the beyond. Wow. First. And it's the same spot. Oh my god, you imagine. Okay, I was about to say it was the again. Don't be a punk. Defeat that centret. Now you, now you have to work towards it. Flash cut. Can't be a little punk. I wonder if he can learn headbutt.
That'd be neat, because then I would have three utility moves all at once, so... Liz the camper. Hi, this is Liz. How are things going for you? Hi, do you have some free time? I've got all sorts of time. If you're free, would you like to battle? I'll be waiting on Route 32. Let me know when you get here. Okay, I'll call you later. Again, I'm not really doing any of these rematches. One, because you guys aren't going to be very strong at all. And two... Oh my god, Farfetch'd is really all over the place. And two... I'm not doing any of that until I learn how to fly. Ooh, you know Peck! He knew Peck! He knew Peck, guys! He knew Peck! Yeah. <laughs> we just got back! I'm not going back. I'm sorry. I'm not going back. He got pecked and he got demolished. <laughs> we are not going back. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Flash Cut. I don't want to make this whole trip all over again. And you can use stuff while you're fainted. I, do I don't care. Oh, it's the return. The Furt has returned. Is it the same one? No. This is the one seeking revenge. Because I took out the other Furt. So I'll show them. I'll show them all. Not so much fun, is it? You had a berry on you? Guess you're just a glutton for punishment. You just want to keep getting hurt. That's what happens. That's what happens. Photodile's trying to learn scary face. Uh, what do I have? First off, here we go again. What the heck does Scary Face do? I think it's a speed thing? I think it just lowers speed and if that's all it does, I don't think I really care for that. Face power zero, accuracy night, a horrific look that scares the victim sharply. Yeah, no, I'd rather have these attacks for now. Because having a... Uh, Rage is, is great for catching Pokemon. Oh wait, right, I keep saying that and then I enter a battle and then I forget to check. I might have extra copies of Headbutt, I think. I only have one extra... Flash Cut can't learn it. Neither can Gassy, but everyone else can apparently learn it. Alright, there was a rare candy and a uh, elixir that we can pick up. so easy to turn in like the same spot that you're in that sometimes uh just end up banging into everything in the path all right let's get the heck out of here because i don't think i can do anything anyway here at the Lake of Rage. And I don't think that there's anything else in this path that I can catch that's worth it. Pidgeotto, Raticate, Venonat, Venomoth, Farfetch'd Sentry for it. Hoot Hoot, it's nighttime. And every other Pokemon that could be uh, captured from headbutting a tree, we've already got, so no point in sticking around here.
Hello. We're not sticking around though to buy a Pidgeotto. One day I too will have a Pidgeotto. I do have a one slot available. Should probably pick up one of those Pokemon. Start leveling them. We've got Flash Cut, Flash Cut on us though, and I think he's gonna be uh, a bit more useful for now. I think I'll postpone that. I'll, I'll level up the other guys off stream like I normally do whenever I have a chance for free time, which is gonna be a lot harder to do. Work is uh, keeping me busy. Work and other uh, life responsibilities. Glad I got a little chance though to chip away at Pokemon tonight. Oh, we already came from here. Alright, so we came to Mahogany Town. Not a whole lot's going on in Mahogany Town, but there is a gym for us to check out later. We can't surf, so we can't go that way. We have to go through the cave again. I don't even know if you can take on this guy, Flash Cut. You can sure as heck try, though. It's not very effective, but man, did it do damage. up at least you're getting there flash cut you're getting there oh whoops can't go out this way should check out that rock in the corner there you would think that a stab bonus would help oh my god hyper beam bang my brain's all over the place i said beam something here. Hyper Potion. We need to deposit those items at the next Pokemon Center we see, and I love how I took one step away from the rock just to get attacked again. By that Rattata's brother. Put it to sleep so you stand a chance. You failed! Put it to sleep so you stand a chance! And you're dead. But now I have to avenge him. See, you thought you were big and bad until the level 27 Totodile showed up and water gunned you in the face. Take a bath, you smelly rat. Look at that. Poor life choices. Shouldn't have picked on him. We need strength to push that. We don't have access to strength. Should check that rock too. I think I wish, or rather that I miss from playing in uh, Game Boy Tower. It's being able to speed through all of this slog right now. Two times speed, three times speed, whatever they gave me. Anything's better than going through all of this slog right now. Man, they are obsessive with the random encounters right now. It's just Rattatas too, I don't care. I just want to chip away. That's so much to ask for. Evidently it is. Evidently it is. Alright, we made it back out here. Back to Ecritique City. Flash got, got beat up pretty bad, Nurse Joy. Can you go ahead and heal him?
I always end up picking Bill's PC by accident. No, I don't want to withdraw. I want to deposit. The heck? Take this rare candy. Take this elixir. Take this hyper potion. Honestly, take this full heal too. I don't need this. Everything that's on me right now, that's all I need. See what's out this way. Where did you say you're from? New Bart Town. Professor Elm lives over there, right? You've come a long way to get here. Yes, I have. Route 38. Olivine City, Ecrotic City. Okay, so we're on Route 38 now. Right, Route 38. So we can catch Tarls here and we can catch Miltank here. So that's what we're going to try to do, and then we'll probably make it nighttime. Oh, we can also catch Magnemite here. Alright, so we'll be expanding our Pokedex quite a bit here. Or, you know, I could fight trainers too. I've been overseas, so I know all of, about all sorts of Pokemon. And I guess you're a sailor. Your sprite reminds me of a sailor. You are a sailor. You got one singular Pokemon, and it's a Wooper. Now, Flashcut should have the advantage here, because he's got... Fine Whip. Oh my god, did he have an advantage. Sailor Harry was defeated. Your skill is world class. All kinds of people around the world live happily with Pokemon. That's neato. Why is everyone on this route dressed blue? Oh boy, a Rattata. My favorite. Hey, there's a Tauros. You're probably not going to be the Tauros that I want, though. But let's just catch you for now. And I'll worry about catching more Tauros later. Uh, I doubt you're going to be as nice as the Tauros I had in yellow. Oh, you've got Rage on you, huh? Bill call me oh, so we haven't been catching Pokemon we've been depositing them oh my god <laughs> I'm being hit with all of the dumbest things from old school Pokemon right now it hurts so bad Oh my god. Alright, Pokemon that I... What? We're back here. I've been keeping Pokemon that I actually want to mess around with in this box, so... I'm gonna move... First, I'm gonna move Pokemon over... ...to box four. That... ...I'm still actively working with, for now. Doesn't mean that they're going to be permanent additions, like Rattata and Pidgey. Rattata and Pidgey probably won't be super permanent, but like Kadabra, for instance, Gyarados, Heracross. I'm really digging Heracross. I know I've probably said that a million times by now, you guys are tired of it, but I really... The Heracross was like the unexpected, ooh, you are interesting Pokemon for me this run. Maybe pseudo -Wudo. Everyone in box four right now is my uh, potential keeps. We are we're currently in box one. Why were we ever in box one? 
There was plenty of room in box three. Why was I on, why was I in box one? Box one and two already filled. Oh my god. Oh well, whatever. Box four is now designated, currently designated as my temporary Pokemon I'm interested in. Might be mainstays. I'm kind of really hoping Heracross is gonna be good. Once I catch this uh, Tauros too. I have no interest in fighting Eradicate. I'm interested in the Tauros that I'm probably never gonna see again. Oh look, it's a little Magnemite. A little genderless Magnemite. Let's go ahead and use Cut. Oh yeah, that's right, now you are part, uh... What's the term? Steel type, I think. Oh, does Vine Web work against Steel type? Nope, it does not work against Steel types. He has got plenty of little annoying moves. Let's put him to sleep, please! Uh, put him to sleep. We're dead, because that does automatic 20 damage. Fantastic. Alright, can I, can I lick a metal Pokemon? Can I lick a Steel type? Doesn't do anything to him. But he is paralyzed! Wonder if Nightshade's gonna do just a little too much damage. Nightshade did a little too much damage. He Sonic boomed Flash Cut. So there's three Pokemon we can cat. Four, technically, because I'm gonna change to Nighttime. And then we'll catch the Meryl and the, uh... Who else shows up on there? Meow. I hate that on this controller, apparently, if my, uh, right stick taps right, it does that and brings up that menu. I don't know why. Maybe it's a shortcut, but I don't want it. I need to figure out if there's a way to disable that. I'm fine with it being, uh... What is it? X? But I don't like that it's Y. I mean, I don't like that it's, a uh, The right C-stick. Oh, at least the Magnemite's back. My flash cut, maybe... Maybe, just maybe, put it to sleep now. Oh, no, now you want to put it to sleep. We'll worry about, uh... Catching a bajillion of these guys later. Soft resetting off stream. Actually, you know what I'm gonna do? Just because I know this guy's annoying. I'm just gonna flash him over and over and reduce that accuracy. So that hopefully, it'll miss every single time. I don't know if Sonic Boom constantly connects, but hopefully, it does not. That's two consecutive flashes. Three consecutive flashes. Four consecutive flashes. Five consecutive flashes. Six consecutive flashes. I think six is the maximum. Yeah, six is the maximum. It ran away! Can run away? Why can Magnemite run away? I didn't know Magnemite could run away. Were they always able to run away? No way! What is up with tonight's stream? Everything that could go wrong is going wrong!
So you're telling me I blinded him forever? Put him to sleep, blinded him, and he just... Nah, I'm out. He did it again! Alright, I'm... I'm... Alright. They could just run. So if I weaken him enough to actually catch him, he say, "Nah, I'm, I'm out. I don't. I don't, don't want to play this game anymore." Let's quick attack you. That's probably gonna kill you in hindsight. No, it did not. No, well, let's quick attack you again. Or are you gonna run away too once your health gets too low? I'm still, like, mind-blown. They could run away. They could just run away. They could just run away. He's probably gonna be a pain to catch. That's gonna be my next thing, I'm calling it. Mm-hmm. 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 Mm, we were so close. Don't do this. Don't play silly little games now. <clears throat> Oh my freaking gosh. The stay in the ball. Oh my lord. Of course. Last Pokeball. I know it's not gonna work, but last Pokeball. Wow, you couldn't even give me a single shake on the last one, really? I, I almost feel like killing it right now. Just putting it out of its misery. Here's a stupid great ball. Wow, I was getting more shakes with a Pokeball. Perfect IVs, you'd better have perfect IVs. I swear. Actually, no, I forgot what the general rule is. If you ever throw a bunch of balls and it doesn't get caught within a reasonable amount, it is going to have all ones, or twos, or threes, or something pathetic. Oh my god, I'm gonna waste every single ball I have trying to catch him. First, I couldn't catch him because the box was full. Now I can't catch him because he's an asshole. Stay in the stupid ball! Oh my god, uh. It didn't- I- I know this game did not just do this to me twice in a row that on the last type of a ball I had, it couldn't even give me a handful of shakes, it just said, No. Screw you. All I've got left is this one stupid Ultra Ball. I can't do anything. I have to run. How stupid as hell is this?
buying 20 great balls i'm gonna save and if i don't catch that stupid walking steak i'm just gonna soft reset i'm gonna end up having to soft reset for this loser because right now he is a loser just stay in the stupid ball I can't believe that with Pokeballs, it was getting to the last shake, the very last shake, and it was just like, no. Stupid refrigerator decoration. I need to calm down. I'm pausing because I don't want to say specific things. Good. I'm glad you died. I wanted you to die. I'm not even kidding. I think I'm gonna kill a bunch of your brethren before I even try to catch you. Oh my god, I need to go heal Mareep. <clears throat> I am absolutely livid right now. You guys do not understand how angry and frustrated I am right now. a lot of patience for a lot of things but when stuff like that happens th i threw every pokeball i had remaining left which granted wasn't a whole lot it was like what six but it shook to the third one every single time and then when the last one gets tossed you're gonna tell me not a single shake not one we're not even gonna give you that the end result is the same but it's kind of like a slap in the face of oh look at that and then i used my great balls and then I get the exact same end result. A couple shakes here, a couple shakes there. And now on the last one, not one, not one shake. Farfetch'd, who I thought would give me more issues, was easier to catch. You need to start getting better, like, fire attacks in the quill. Let's get, let's get this team to 28 then, at least while we're doing this, I guess. walking steak dinner good I'm glad and of course by the way it would be a critical hit Are you going to be as much of a pain in the ass to catch too? I bet you are. get it down to the red at least of course it misses of course we're gonna draw this out longer than it needs to be
Nice job recycling the Karate Chop animation, just changing it to a hoof instead. Oh, but you were easy to catch. Only took one of you. It just described how to milk one. I didn't read the description because I felt like that was a little too, uh... A little too unique of a description. Kill a bunch of you first. Are infuriating me. Of course, on the first Thundershock, I get paralyzed. Of course. Maybe a nightshade will do the trick. Too much damage. Let's put you up front. If we can catch this idiot. Oh my god, of course everything's gonna miss now. Oh my god, can a single hypnosis connect? Oh my...
the electricity emitted by the, the units on each side of its body cause it to become a strong magnet. The units? Those are literally magnets. Go heal up the team. We don't need Ghastly up front anymore. He can't do anything to the Tauros that we need to capture. The total dial front. There's also the Meowth that we need to capture, and the Meryl. So hopefully we'll catch it before that happens. I really don't care for another Mill Tank. Instead of Mill Tank, give me the stupid Tauros. Excuse me. Of course, it's a critical hit. Of course, that's also a critical hit. throw my controller so hard it's gonna rotate around the earth go back in time and slap the original Tauros in the face in order to prove their strength oh well, I hope you can prove your strength Now, let me see. Are there any other Pokemon in the immediate areas that I need to be concerned about? We can clear out that route just so that we have Olivine done. Oh, what the heck? Liz, I can't battle you right now. Tanya, how are you? This is Liz. I'm fine, but I'm bored silly. Oh, wrong number. Oops, sorry. I forget that she can make wrong calls.
You know what the best part is? I'm gonna have to probably reset a million times. To catch one that's good. I'm gonna spare you guys that annoyance and hassle. You seem to be good at Pokemon. If you are, how about giving me some advice? Uh, don't catch the Tauros here. Oh, you've got a Flaffy? I can't wait to get a Flaffy. I know, I'm working with my Mareep, though. But I want Mareep to learn anything and everything it can first before it starts evolving. Psyduck. Let's go ahead and send out a uh, Picarita. <clears throat> See if we can clear out this route and then we'll go do everything in Ecritique. Last Dana was defeated. I see, so you can battle that way. What Cyndaquil's evolving? <laughs> no, it's not. <clears throat> see if uh, Ghastly can get some luck here. Oh wait, do you say anything of use afterwards? I know something good. Moo Moo Farms milk is famous for its flavor. You're really good at Pokemon. Always give me items after battles, but sometimes they give me too much. Next time I can share some if you want. Let me have your phone number. But your phone's out of memory, I know. This is like the late 90s where you can only apparently keep... I don't even know how many phone numbers in here. Is there a number I'm willing to get rid of? Who never calls me? I don't think I've ever been called once by Todd. Believe Todd. You want to give me items? That's a different story altogether. I'll take your number if you're going to give me stuff for free. Let me try something I learned today. Let me try something I learned today, which is I hate catching Tauros because Apparently, it's going to do everything. Oh, I'm fighting a Chad. Never mind. Better watch myself. Better not talk any trash about this guy. Too bad this ghost type attack does the same amount of damage no matter what. How is that meditating? How does meditating do that to one? I also have to keep track of the time. <clears throat> I'd want to switch back to nighttime, or the appropriate time before midnight. I didn't study enough, I guess. Lee got 608 for winning and since I'm home to mom. Don't you think my Pokemon and I are beautiful? I guess we'll find out. Are you a beauty? You're a beauty. Olivia. You may sound like you have more than one Pokemon. That's a Corsola. It's the first time we see a Corsola in game. Beauty Olivia was defeated. <clears throat> we drink Moo Moo milk every day. Whoa, that was a lot of money. Moo Moo milk is good for beauty and health, and inc but inconveniently they only sell a bottle at a time. Trainer tips. If a Pokemon is trying to evolve, you can stop it. Press the B button during evolution. That startles the Pokemon and stops its evolution. 
you imagine someone just has like a giant button and it says B on it? And then when their Pokemon's evolving, they're like, no! And they just right in front of the Pokemon's face and they're like, ah! Oh, it's a Dodo. We have a Doduo. Actually, we have a Dodrio, but it's all the way back in yellow. Oh, wait. I can't actually hurt you guys. You can hurt me, though. You know a dark move. Uh... Mareep. Mareep is going to probably be the next person to reasonably... Oh my god, use Pursuit as I was trying to switch out. I forgot that you can do that. <clears throat> That'll be enough to get Mareep to level 28. Birdkeeper Toby is about to use another Doe Duel. Will you switch Pokemon? No. I'm gonna stick with Mareep. Oh my gosh, how many Dodo do you have? <clears throat> Bird Keeper Toby was defeated. I've cooled off from all the stupidity that's happened. What, well, Mareep's evolving? No. Mareep, I don't want you to evolve until you learn whatever the last move it is that you're supposed to learn is. Hello. Hi, aren't you a cute trainer? May I see your Pokemon? Sure. You can see my Pokemon as we battle Beauty Valerie with two Pokemon. You got a Hoppip. We can actually hit Hoppip with Ghastly. So go Ghastly! Use Nightshade. I don't know if it has a whole lot of HP, but hopefully it's less than 27. Nope. Would a lick be enough to finish you off? I doubt it. Oh, it is. Ooh, a skip bloom. I have another Nightshade. I have another nice shade, just in case. I don't know if Lick would have finished you off. But the fact that you know Stun Spore was enough for me to say, no, you, you need to be taken down immediately. Ghastly is trying to learn Confuse Ray, but Ghastly can't learn more than four moves. Yes. Which move should be forgotten? Gengars are fast, so I don't think I need a mean... Well, mean look prevents them from running away. Uh, what would I want to get rid of? Let's check out Confuse Ray. If Confuse Ray is the one that's 100% of the time going to happen, then I might want to get that. Might. Hundred percent accuracy. Mm -hmm. Uh. not recommended for it to know it ironically mean look is great though for catching wild pokemon i think i want to keep mean look for now i don't think that i want confuse race so i'm thinking i'm gonna pass up on it that <clears throat> and i don't think that the last time i checked the smog on stuff i don't think that uh Confuse Ray was something I recommend that I have. I know that's for player versus player, but uh, I think it's still a good basis. It's a fruit bearing tree. Just a regular old berry. 
Oh wait, but you also leveled up. So let's put a... Uh, the Chikorita up. I always do Total Dial last because it's my starter. You would think I would do him first, but uh... <clears throat> I feel like if I don't give everyone else attention, I'll do what I did as a child and uh... Just only ever use my starter, get him to like level 80 by the time that I'm uh... At the Elite Four. Because he's the only Pokemon I ever used. Let me see what your Pokemon are capable of. Sure thing, buddy. Oh, you're a Psychic. This works out perfect for Chikorita, actually. Psychic Norman was defeated. Ooh, your Pokemon have potential. You know how Pokemon have different abilities? People are like that too. Everyone has different potential. That is true. Moo Moo Farm. Enjoy our fresh and tasty milk. It's a mint berry. Mumu is sick. She needs lots of berries. Oh, fantastic. Mumu is sick. She needs lots of berries. Miltank, Moo, its cry is weak. You need lots of berries. I have lots of berries. I don't need these berries. You can have my berry. Our milk even goes out to Kanto. So if our own Miltank won't give us any milk, we're in trouble. My milk tank ain't giving me milk no more. This here farm's got famous milk. Most everyone wants a drink. It'll give me lots of milk if and I give feed it lots of berries, I reckon. Don't I have my berries on me? I didn't deposit them, did I? No, I have berries on me. That's the fourth berry. Here's a fifth berry. Here's a sixth berry. Here's a seventh berry. Miltang became totally healthy. Moo. Aw. We're feeding Moo Moo. We're feeding Moo Moo. Sir, I saved your milk tank. I fed it a bunch of berries. How'd you like my Moo Moo milk? My pride and joy there. Give it to the Pokemon to restore HP. I'll give it to you for just 500. I'll take one just because I think it'd be cool to have it in my inventory. Here you go. Drink up and enjoy. They put Moo Moo milk in the item pocket. I best go do my milking. Oh boy. You fixed our milk tank, hun. Now it gives Moo Moo milk again. Here's something for your trouble. Lee received TM13. You put the TM13 in the item's pocket. That there's Snore. The rare move that only works while the Pokemon is asleep. You best think of how you ought to use it, hun. Oh man. Moo. Moo. Mm. Mm. 
such darling Pokemon. Let's show our Pokemon together at the same time. Yeah, lady, that's called a Pokemon battle, which is what you ironically have just challenged me to. Oh, you're a Poke fan. Hello, Roof. You got a Pikachu! I haven't encountered those here yet. Oof. Sorry, Roof. I don't mind losing. I'm sure your Pokemon does, though. Do you know about baby Pokemon? I bet they're just adorable. Yeah, I'm sure they are. I got a Togepi. This is a good time to brag about my Pikachu. Are you another Poke fan? Do you also have a Pikachu? <clears throat> Sir, your son's not a Pikachu. Don't throw him out into battle. Okay, you got an actual Pikachu. And yours is gonna be male. Pokefan Derek was defeated. I had no time to show off Pikachu. We got 1,360 for winning since I'm home to mom. Speaking of mom... Hi Lee, how are you? While shopping today, I saw this adorable doll, so I bought it with your money. Sorry, it's in your room. You'll love it. I wonder what doll she got me. Oh, there is a trainer here. Oof, 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 oof. I hope it gets dark soon. <clears throat> I already caught you, Magnemite. Leave me alone! I'm not gonna bother with you. There is that trainer I need to beat, though. And it looks like he's a sailor, so... I just got back to Olivine. So how about a Pokemon battle? <clears throat> cool, where'd you get back from? Sailor Eugene wants to battle and sends out a Poliwhirl. I think that's our first Poliwhirl we've seen, too. That Poliwhirl is 100% gonna get us to level 28. Alright. Now it's time for uh, Totodile to come out. Fang, but it missed. Krabby! Oops, I forgot that's a water type. I wasn't paying attention. I guess he wasn't paying attention either. Warg! What Chikorita's evolving? Nope. Nope. Not evolving. My Pokemon were caught and raised overseas. They're my companions on those long voyages. The sign say. Trainer tips. Use headbutt on trees to shake Pokemon out. Different kinds of Pokemon drop out of trees. Use headbutt on any tree you see. And we made it to Olivine. That thing you have. It's a Poke Gear, right? Wow, that's cool. Olivine City. The port closest to foreign lands. Oh, hello. You again? There's no need to panic. I don't bother with wimps like you. Speaking of weaklings, the city's gym leader isn't here. 
Supposedly taking care of a sick Pokemon at the lighthouse. Hmm. <laughs> Boo hoo. Just let sick Pokemon go. A Pokemon that can't battle is worthless. Why don't you go train at the lighthouse? Who knows, it may make you a bit less weak. How about you, uh... I'm a nicer person. Jasmine, the gym leader, is at the lighthouse. She's been tending to a sick Pokemon. A strong trainer has to be compassionate. Like the idiot that uh just ran through here. Look, I'm the gym leader. Let's see what's going on in Olivine. Olivine is on the sea, and if it's on the sea, there are bound to be fish. I've fished here for 30 years. Would you like to face the sea and fish? Yes. Ah! Wahaha! <laughs> we have ourselves a new angler. Lee received a good rod. Fish aren't found in the sea alone. They go wherever there's water. Oh, I got my good rod. The sea is sweet. Sunsets on the sea are marvelous. Sing with me. Yo-ho! Blow the man down. I'll skip the mark for now. Hi, I'm looking for this Pokemon. If you have Krabby, would you like to trade it for my Voltorb? No. You don't have one either? Gee, that's really disappointing. Whenever I get in trouble, Daddy always scares me. Along the way to Cyanwood, there are four deserted islands. Bad kids are taken to the islands as punishment. What the heck? That's a, that's a bit much. Like, how bad are your kids that you're taking them to an island to scare the hell out of them? The sea is sweet. Sunsets on the sea are marvelous. Oh, we already talked to you. Let's go talk to this Pokemon Center. The sailor in the Olivine Cafe next door is really generous. He taught my Pokemon strength. Now I can move big boulders. Wow, you and your Pokemon are really close. There's a person in Cyanwood City across the sea. I heard him bragging about his rare Pokemon. Oh, welcome to our Pokemon Center. We can hear Pokemon back to full health. Would you like to? Yes. More so than strength, though, I would really like to learn fly. Like, I get I need strength to actually progress, but, uh... Whenever I roll into this town, I always visit the Olivine Cafe. Everything on the menu makes me feel stronger. I can't stop eating. Olivine's Cafe menu is chock full of hearty fare for beefy sailors. Ah, your Pokemon sure looks like sure look like lightweights. They don't have the power to move boulders aside. Here, use this and teach them strength. Lee received HM04. They put the HM04 in the pocket. On the sea, the only thing you can count on is your own good self. I'm so proud of my buff bod. Oh, thanks for the HM. You didn't have to rag on my Pokemon, but thanks for the HM. Battle Tower ahead, opening now. I came to Olivine by ship to see the sights and soak up the atmosphere. Being a port, it feels so different from being in a big city. Have you gone to the Battle Tower? I think a lot of tough trainers have all gathered there already. But since you have so many badges, you shouldn't be too badly at all. Route 40, Cyan Wood to Olivine. Although you can't see it from here, Cyan Wood is across the sea. Hmm, there's a big building up ahead. What is it? The levels of the Pokemon I want to use are all different. I have to go train them now. Are you going to the Battle Tower? This is a secret, but if you win a whole lot, you can get win special gifts. Hehe, <laughs> I snuck out from work. I can't bail out until I've won. I have to win it all that I must. Oh, that's unique. You can only you can use only three Pokemon. It's so hard to decide which three should go into battle. Wow, the battle tower is huge. There must be many kinds of Pokemon in there. 
It is a pretty tall tower. You can't even see all of it. Battle tower. Take the ultimate trainer challenge. There are lots of battle rooms, but I'm going to win them all. I don't know how this works. Destroyed by the first opponent in no time at all. I'm no good. It's a grueling task not being able to use items in battle. Making sure making your Pokemon hold items is the key to winning battles. Battle Tower welcomes you. I could show you to a battle room. Would you like to hear about the Battle Tower? Yes. Battle Tower is a facility made for Pokemon battles. Countless Pokemon trainers gather from all over the all over to hold battles in especially designed battle rooms. There are many battle rooms in the Battle Tower. Each room holds seven trainers. Beat them all and win a prize. To interrupt the session, you must save. If not, you won't be able to resume your room challenge. Want to go to a battle room? Excuse me, you're not ready. Only three Pokemon may be entered. Please return when you're ready. Oh, we'll do this some other time. I'm trying to see how far I can go just using bug Pokemon. Don't let there be any fire Pokemon. <laughs> I don't want to spend too much time here. As it is, uh, we've strayed heavily off the beaten path. We went to Mahogany Town, we went to, uh, over here to Olivine. The Battle Tower. Olivine Port, Fast Ship Pier. Dark roads are dangerous at night. But in pitch black of night, the sea is even more treacherous. Without the beacon of the lighthouse to guide it, no ship can sail. Also known as a glitter lighthouse. Why is this an underground path? How many rods do you have? Different rods catch different Pokemon. We don't want <clears throat> we don't want you to fall into the sea so you're not allowed in. Shelda are easy to catch here. They're kind of ever rare elsewhere. Oh. But you don't say. I can catch shelter here. That's a tentacle. That is not a shelter. We already have one. Oops. I think he lied. I don't think there's any shelter here. Am I even still in what's considered Olivine? Yeah, the music for Olivine is still playing. Oh, I can catch Staryu here, but it's gotta be nighttime. So another incentive to try and uh, make the game nighttime now. do all of this because I'm like I'm kind of all over the place I'm kind of out of order let's go back to Ecruteek and actually do the events of Ecruteek before we uh continue to go literally everywhere else So let's heal up. 
I guess we can start with the dance hall. Actually, I don't want to risk this. Let's go ahead and actually reset the end game time. Alright, let me save. And then we're gonna check to see how much money I have at the moment. Alright, we have our new password. And we saved, so... <clears throat> now I gotta do that uh, annoying input. Which is down select B. Then I gotta let go of everything and then hold up and left and let go of that. Reset the clock, yes. And our magic numbers are... I still need it to be Sunday. My only concern is that I don't want to ruin my streak with the uh, little girl. Which I actually don't know if it's going to get ruined because of what I just did, but... Uh... Now it should be nighttime. Because it's nighttime, we can capture that meow. All we really did was fight trainers in the immediate areas, and, uh... <clears throat> and not much- oh, hello. Oh, but you're a female. It's a terrible thing to say, but knowing that they can't have perfect attack IVs, that was a really dumb thing for them to do. I get that you were trying to diversify them, but having female Pokemon not be able to have perfect attack stats is kind of lame. Unless the Pokemon doesn't need attack. There we go. Let's use, uh, let's use Totodile. And this is at least for now to, you know, fill up the Pokedex. This is not even including the fact that I'm probably going to be soft resetting like crazy, guys. That might take it down, I think. I think that might have been a mistake. I thought I could get it down to the red. Uh, we have Total Dial out and at the ready. Don't care. You are also not a Meowth. Don't care. In fact, you're the same Pokemon we just encountered. Meowth. That's right. But it's a female. That's wrong. <laughs> That did a lot of damage compared to the other one. Uh, 
All right, we caught the meow. Oh, the gold coin it said shines too. I was busy uh, pressing through B. No, this one's also male. Let me see if I was right. Coincidentally, this one might just have bad, uh... No, yeah, this one is, uh... This one actually took a punch to the face pretty well. A little too well. But then he hit me back and, uh... Well, he is not with us anymore. Alright, there should also be a Meryl that we can catch in some grass over here. Grass, or do we have to fish for it? No, we just gotta walk for it, apparently. <clears throat> gotta cross all of this again. I did pretty much everything but what I was supposed to do today. It's really tempting to just water gun him. <clears throat> but I'm more concerned with trying to catch the Pokemon immediately in these areas so that I can keep pushing forward. I should get every Pokemon I've caught so far to 30. That might be much. I'm starting to get to a point where it's just too many to realistically do that, so I might have to only focus on the Pokemon that I actually care about potentially using in battle. He's got a 5% chance of showing up. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and save. <clears throat> Currently we'll be running into zoo bats and gold bats a lot for now. Our ever faithful friend Rattata. <clears throat> Zubat has a thirty percent chance to show up. Golba has a fourteen percent chance to show up. And Mero has a 5% chance to show up. The most other common Pokemon I'm going to be seeing is Rattata. I like how as I say that the Golbat shows up. <clears throat> Which, aside from the Mero, has the next lowest uh, chance of showing up. Mero has 5. sake. Maybe that way they could just roar and uh, do their like cry and I could just go straight into the menu because I don't want to stay here for any longer than I have to. Yeah, that's way faster. Wait, it might be a bit of an exaggeration, but it is a lot faster. <clears throat> I already know this is going to upset me because we've seen Golbat twice. And Eradicate, who has 6% more chance to show up.
I've seen Golbat three times at a 14% chance. <laughs> it sure would be nice if that Meryl showed up. I'll save it for the evolved Pokemon. Might battle the evolved ones just to uh, kill some time. Is this not like us running away constantly from these battles? Wait a minute. I know we've seen a Meryl at least. But let's see. I don't know where Meryl is on this uh, Pokedex. Here it is, Meryl. Am I at least in the right spot, according to this? Yeah, we're in the right spot. Just show up here. Found our marrow. <clears throat> How much a water gun do? Not very effective, which is exactly why I want to use it. Perfect. He's in the red. Oh, you you know rollout, huh? Aquamouse, the fur on its body naturally repels water. It can stay dry even when it plays in the water. Alright, so we caught our Meryl. Let's save. We've caught a lot of Pokemon. I think we started the save file with like 56 Pokemon. We're up to 64, so that's like 8. We've been busy catching lots and lots of Pokemon. Wow, right before the door.
I don't care much for you, Golbat. So let me... let me leave. I missed the staircase there. And it drew me into another Pokemon battle. <clears throat> it was probably gonna happen anyway, but it feels so much worse because I missed it. I'm taking extra steps that I otherwise wouldn't normally be taking. Alright, so we're back at Acrotique. After exploring... <laughs> Literally what I said, exploring all of the immediate area. I did not lie in my stream description. Ecrotique and beyond. Although, I thought that we would be, uh... <clears throat> thought we would be done with Ecrotique and then exploring all the stuff, but me and my exploration. Me and my exploration. Alright, this is the dance theater. Let's do this. I think all of them have an evolution. Not only are the Kimono Girls great dancers, they're also skilled at Pokemon. I always challenge them, but I've never even left a scratch. Lad, if you can defeat all the Kimono Girls, I'll give you a gift. That man's always with his right on. Says he wants a Pokemon that can surf and dance. Is he trying to make a synchronized swimming Pokemon? So, I'm guessing he's gonna give me Surf. The Kimono Girls are so beautiful, but they have to go through rigorous training, and they have to learn to follow customs before appearing in public. But if you love something, anything is possible. You have lovely Pokémon. May I see them in battle? Kimono Girl Naoko wants to battle. She sends out a Flareon! That was not expected. You were wearing a green kimono. But I mean, I will water gun you. Kimono girl Naoko was defeated. Oh, you are very strong. They got 1,224 for winning! Uh, everyone's level 28 now. <clears throat> I guess we'll loop back to doing, uh, Ghastly. Also, we can turn the scenes back on. I always dance with my Pokémon. Of course, I also train them. Kimono Girl Sayo wants to battle. Sent out Espeon! Oh, that's gonna hurt. Critical hit! Kimono Girl Sayo was defeated. Oh, so close. I almost had you. Lee got 1,224 for winning and sent some home to mom. I feel like I have something in my throat. That's why I keep muting myself. Wow. <clears throat> my bottle of water was so cold it has ice chunks in it. Now, if I didn't have something in my throat before, <laughs> I definitely have it now. <clears throat> Isn't my beret pretty? Oh, a Pokemon battle.
Kimono girl Zuki wants to battle. She sent out an Umbreon. I want an Umbreon. <clears throat> I want an everything on. Of course you know Pursuit! <laughs> Gassy, I don't think they want you to level up, my guy. <clears throat> Mono Girl Zuki was defeated. <clears throat> I don't have any Pokemon left. I put a different flower in my beret every month. Rhythm is important for both dancing and Pokemon. I enjoyed that bout. I would like to see you again. Oh, you're a cute trainer. Would you like to battle? <clears throat> Let me guess. You're going to have a Jolteon. Because if I assume you have a Vaporeon because you're blue, I'm going to regret it. Kimono Girl Kuni wants to battle. Sent out Vapor. Okay, you juked me. I know Vaporeon has a lot more HP and they're bulky. So this is gonna take a couple nightshades. <clears throat> well, they tried to use uh, Sand Attack like two different times and it didn't work. Mono Girl Kuni was defeated. <clears throat> You're stronger than you look. What Ghastly's evolving? Well, that's cool and all. I would like to have a Haunter. Not yet. <clears throat> Do you like my dancing? I'm good at Pokemon too. <clears throat> You just let me see all of the evolutions. We're probably gonna have a Jolteon again on our team. Unless uh, Ampharos proves to be great. I really want Ampharos to be good. I don't know if it's gonna be good or not, but I really want it to be good. Mono girl Mickey was defeated. Oh, you're good at Pokemon too. I can keep dancing because there are people who enjoy what I do. My Pokemon keep my spirits up too. <clears throat> I trained a lot, so I thought I was a capable trainer. I guess I'm not. No, you're capable. I mean, you used Sand Attack twice and it didn't connect, but you're capable. Not only are the Kimono Girls great dancers, they're also skilled at Pokemon. <clears throat> I always challenge them, but I've never even left a scratch. The way you battled, it was like watching a dance. It was a rare treat to see. I want you to have this. Don't worry. Take it. Lee received HMO3. Lee put HMO3 in the item pocket. <clears throat> the TM pocket. That's Surf! It's a move that lets Pokemon swim across water. The question is, do I want to teach it to Totodile, or do I want to teach Totodile Waterfall? Alright, we defeated the Kimono Girls. We got Surf as an HM. <clears throat> Two towers to- oh wait, that's right, this is the wrong tower. The tower we want to go to is on the other side. The tower that used to be here, my grandma told me it used to be much taller. I mean, it might have been, but it burnt down. <clears throat> well, hello there, wild Pokemon. Hello there, coughing. 
I mean, I'm not gonna catch you, but hello there. You seen? I heard that Sui Suicune is in this burn tower. So I came to look. But where exactly could it be? I am Morty. Oh, jeez, Rick. <clears throat> uh. I check something. Legion two. Oh, Sweet Coon, yeah. Said to be legendary, Sweet Coon, Entei, and Raikou. Yusin is here too, so I've decided to investigate the tower with him. Maybe a Pokemon can break this, <clears throat> which means that I do not have a Pokemon that can break it right now. So there are Raticates, Rattatas, <clears throat> Zubats, and, uh,. Offings here. <clears throat> oh, it's you. I came looking for some legendary Pokemon that they say roosts here. <clears throat> There's nothing here. Nothing after all the trouble of coming to this dump. No way. It's all your fault. Oh yeah, it's all my fault? Alright, scrub, let's go. <clears throat> Wipe that smile off your face. And send out a haunter. I'm gonna send out my Cyndaquil. I'm gonna use Flame Wheel. Brilliant move. Took yourself out. And you put a curse on me. Watch how, watch how effective your curse is going to be. Return. I get, give you a break and send out my beat up Ghastly. Send down Mareep. Mareep can deal with this best. Magnemite. Okay, this might actually prove to be a little annoying now. <clears throat> Actually, no. I'm gonna send out Cyndaquil again. Because you are part steel. And being part steel means that you are going to get burned. Flame wheel. Get out of here! Silver's about to use Bailey. Ho 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 Oh boy. Flame Wheel. See, you evolve your Pokemon too quickly, because you just care about power, but because I care about my Pokemon doing well, we're taking our sweet time. And now Cyndaquil knows Flame Wheel. And you're still sitting on a Razor Leaf, on a Bayleaf that's only level 22. Cyndaquil grew to level 29. Silver was defeated. Humph! This is why I hate battling wimps. There's no challenge in it. Bro, you just lost! 
What? Cyndaquil's evolving? Nope. Cyndaquil is not evolving. Oh, whatever. You would never be able to catch a legendary Pokemon anyway. Humph! What are you doing falling into a hole? Some genius you are. Serves you right. Suicune! Suicune! Wait. Do I have anyone that can actually learn strength? I doubt that, uh... Wow, no one is able to learn it. Only Total Dow can learn Surf. So I got one, three, four, and five. I'm missing Fly, which is two. Oh, the three... Th Wait, are the three dogs there? I see two of them. I just got attacked. there. I mean, I don't I don't know why they're grayed out, but they're there. I dug a hole here too. I was shocked. Suicune raced by like a blur, right in front of my eyes. For 10 years I chased Suicune, and I finally got to see it. I'm all choked up. <clears throat> Lee, I owe, you I owe this all to you. Thank you. I heard that the legendary Pokemon of Ecruti tests chosen humans by allowing them to get close. I'm going to track Suicune. Lee, let's meet again. Farewell. Thanks for digging a hole so that I can escape. It'd be kind of not fun to be stuck here forever. Right, there's a coughing we can catch here. I guess we may as well try to catch that coughing. Rattata has 55% chance of showing up. And coughing has a 30. Oh my gosh. Apparently in the basement, I have a better chance of finding a coughing. They have a 59% chance of showing up down here. Oh, and I would appear to be correct. Let's go ahead and paralyze you. Let's go ahead and send out... Ghastly. <clears throat> gonna lick. Oh, that was a crit.
Hopefully, uh, we won't crit again. Perfect. This attack animation is a little too long. We've caught nine Pokemon. And if I really wanted to, I could go back and potentially try to catch that Staryu. Coughing, the poison gas Pokemon. If one gets close enough to when it expels poisonous gas, the gas swirling inside it can be seen. Give a nickname to the coughing? No. And all these Pokemon I'm gonna have to try to recapture later. Don't tempt me with a slightly higher leveled coughing. Dana! Last. Uh, Lee? It's me. It's me, Dana. Right now, I'm on Route 38. If you're close by, let's battle. I'll be waiting for you. See you. <clears> Hold <throat> up. You said that you were gonna only call me when you have items for me. Now you're calling me for a battle? Hmm. Kinda lying to me. Yes, indeed, we are out late. It is 12.16 a.m. And we got a date with Morty. I got just the Pokemon that I want to use against Morty. Oh, perfect. Marip needs to get leveled up anyway. But Marip's not the Pokemon I want to use. If I can figure out what kind of trainer Morty is. Hey, you're not Dana. You're really late. I'm eager to get going. Let's see if she gives me an item at the end of it. I don't know. Oh my gosh. Forgot that she had a... Electric type. See how much tackle does. You could not be any more annoying if you tried. I can't believe you just did that to me. too long. I'm gonna swap over to somebody else. Screw it. <laughs> Screw it. Just let it be ghastly. Which is nightshade. <clears throat> Force it to crit. What is with all of my attacks missing? I see, so you can battle that way.
think Morty was... Ghost types? <clears throat> so I think it might be a good idea to bring out Kadabra. Let Kadabra get leveled up a bit here. I'm pretty sure Alakazam is probably still going to be top tier here. Morty should be back in his gym now. The trainers here have secret motives. If you win, they may tell you some deep secrets about equity. Can you inflict any damage on our Pokemon? Sage Ping wants to battle. Oh my gosh, he has so many Pokemon. Go, Kadabra. Use Psybeam. Another Ghastly. I'm gonna assume that he has nothing but Ghastly. I think they really want to drive home the fact that this guy uses, uh, ghost types. This is a ghost type gym, I think I called it. Wouldn't it be funny if the last one was a Haunter? I doubt it, but... Use only ghost type Pokemon. No normal types attacks can harm them. Stump by our invisible floor? Defeat me if you want a hint. What the? Medium Grace wants to battle. What is going on with her? She's got a haunter. Medium Grace was defeated. What? What? Fine, I shall tell you the secret of the invisible floor. The path is right before our eyes. I spent the spring with my Pokémon, then summer, fall, and winter. Then spring came again. We have lived together for a long time. That's admirable. I don't even have anything mean-spirited to say about that. That's good. I'm glad you enjoy spending time with your Pokemon. Jeffrey.
I'm gonna guess you have nothing but... Oh, never mind. Sage Jeffrey was defeated. Wins and losses. I experienced both. I shall win. Medium Marfa wants to battle. Medium Marfa sent out Ghastly. He's just like, I'm gonna win. Whipper snapper. Grew to level 28. I have a feeling my Kadaro is going to get to 29 by the time we beat Morty. It's super effective. Medium Marfa was defeated. I, I, I lost! Lee got 800 for winning since I'm home to mom. The one who wants to win most will. Where did my, where did Pokemon come from? Wait, so it's not. Or all of the, oh, never mind. Oh, I took one step too many. I guess this is a pitfall. Yep. I was just curious. So it looks like Morty has two steps. Oh my gosh. Is there a little more generous there with uh, how you got to Morty? Normally I'm, I go back to the Pokemon Center to heal, but uh, <clears throat> I don't feel like I have to this time. Good of, you, good of you to have come. Here in Ecruti, Pokemon have been revered. It's said that a rainbow-colored Pokemon will come down to appear before a truly powerful trainer. I believe that tale, so I have secretly trained here all of my life. As a result, I can now see what others cannot. Just a bit more. With a little more, I could see the, a future in which I meet the Pokemon of rainbow colors. You're going to help me reach that level. Leader Morty wants to battle. Leader Morty sent out Ghastly. Go, Kadabra! Kadabra, Psybeam. It's super effective. Enemy Ghastly fainted. Kadabra gained 427 experience. Hater's about to use a Haunter. I'm gonna assume he's gonna have a Gengar in the ranks. Fight! Psybeam! Oh, I'm not switching out. So Gengar is his third? It just wiggles its legs? What? He should have been the scariest one because he's level 25. That was enough to set me to 29. I called it! That special attack and speed. Another hunter. So, what level's the hunter? Wait, what? Why would that be your last one? 
I would have expected the Gengar to be the last one. And I mean, like, you know how when you defeat a trainer's Pokemon, it puts like a little X? I thought the X would have been on the last one to signify that that one was the Gengar, but I guess not. Leader Morty was defeated. I'm not good enough yet. Alright, this badge is yours. Lee got 2,300 for winning. Sent some. Home to mom. Lee received the Fog Badge. By having Fog Badge, Pokemon up to level 50 will obey you. Also, Pokemon that know Surf will be able to use that move anytime. I want you to have this too. Lee received TM30. It's Shadow Ball. It causes damage and may reduce special defense. Use it if it appeals to you. Phew, Lee, you did great. I was cowering in the corner out of pure terror. I knew that, uh, Davro was the right move. Ghastly back into the mix. I think we can check out the Tin Tower now. Because before they were like, no, you can't come in here. Two towers to Pokemon, but when one burned down, Pokemon flew away, never to return. The Tin Tower ahead is a nine tier tower of divine beauty. It soothes the soul of all who see it. Why does the stairs go down? I need to go back up. Astounding. Suicune, Entei, and Raikou have arisen from their sleep. Is the legend coming true? We train at the burnt tower, but we've never heard of a hole opening up there before. It must have been deliberately made by someone. We, the Wise Trio, are the protectors of the legendary Pokémon. Tin Tower may be entered by those bearing Ecruteek's Gym Badge, which I have. However, now that Suicune, Raikou, and Entei have arisen, I ask you to refrain from entering. What? I met the requirements and now you're gonna tell me no, you still can't get in? Rude! And then let's take our behinds to Olivine. Ha! <laughs> that rhymed. Oh wait. Does that mean I can grab... Uh, this? I mean, I think I could have grabbed it anyway, because it's, uh... I changed the time, technically. And once I get to Olivine, I will try to capture that uh, Staryu, and then I might call it for the night. We did a lot. Sorry that I haven't been streaming as much... I want to stream more often, but we'll see how work uh, treats me. So apparently, if I fish in this general area with the good rod, here I guess, in Olivine, there's a chance a star you can show up at night 10%. 10%? I don't know if I want to do this now. <laughs> Ooh, they're level 20. Hmm? Oh 
my god, I forgot that's not my fishing rod right now. Magic carb. Level 20 magic carb. What? Oh my god, what did I just do? I didn't go over enough. A lot of Pokemon are going to show up regardless of if it's morning, day, or night, so... I might skip out. I'm not going to lie, I might skip out on catching the star, you guys. I'm sorry. Like, it's already pretty late for me. Hello. Oh, now Ralph wants to call me. Hi, uh, it's Uncle Ralph. I've been spending more time with my Goldeen than I have with my kids. That's a bit sad, actually. Yesterday, a wild bellsprout slipped away from me in front of my kid. I was feeling down about it until he shared his Pokeballs with me. Haha, <laughs> that sure made my day. You call your mom soon. We'll do three more battle attempts, and if it's not that, then we'll call it. There's one thing I'll probably do on stream with you guys, though. And that's, uh... We can pop into Stadium real quick and do a uh, Mystery Gift, so you guys can see that. Alright, that's attempt number one. Oh, Corsola can also show up, but only in the day. I had a Super Rod. If I had a super rod, it would be a 30% chance for the star you to show up. We had one attempt, come on. Here's attempt number two. Magikarp again. Alright, last chance for star you. I mean, it's only 10% chance, I'm not holding my breath. And for whatever comes up next, I'm just gonna steamroll it, because, uh... Reap is so close to getting to level 29. Alright, will it be the star, you guys? Is it gonna be it? And it's a Magikarp. Oh well, better luck next time. Magikarp, tip us over, will you, bud? What, well, Mareep's evolving? No, it's not. Oh, it's right in front of the poem on center, too. Alright, let's save. And I'll pop the game into the transfer pack for the N64 real quick. this like so fast I can't wait for the 4k see also able to get my hands on a Nintendo 64 Nintendo Switch Online controller. A second one.
Now I'm breaking it in. All right, mystery gift. May as well do it with the other three versions of the games. I wonder if she's gonna tell me that I haven't come in a while. So I did change the time. Oh no, she said thank you for visiting me every day. Okay, so it's a good thing that I did that before the time change. No people, many people. Thanks for the mint berry. Oh, it's paralyzed gear. All right, so that was the crystal version. Let's try gold version. I don't know why it looks so washed out here. Poison cure berry. Oh, she got an oddish doll. Nice for her. I think I already have one though. Oh, decorate my room. Thank you. Do you know this room? Or... Oh yeah, we may as well check my room because it said that my mom got me a doll. What's silver version gonna get? Sometimes silver version upsets me because it gets, like, sometimes it gets pretty cool items. Guard spec, not this time though. All right, let's go. Go to my room first. Said that my mom got me a doll. What my room looks like right now. Got see, I got an otter doll, so I don't care. <gasps> she got me a Charmander doll. I because I was gonna try and guess which one it was, but I did not have a Charmander doll before. Oh man. Now which ones I'm gonna put out? Okay, I think I'm gonna make. The Oddish will star you, and then I'm gonna put Charmander here. Actually, no. I'm gonna put the star you here. Put the Charmander here. Oh man, that's so cool! I got a Charmander one. I also got a Jigglypuff poster. I got the stupid plant. Got the NES, which was cool, but I don't have a carpet. I think Silver Version has a carpet, and I don't have a big doll yet. Oh my God! It's Kirby's Adventure on the screen. It was like Mario Brothers earlier. All right, now we'll visit Oak's lab and uh, pick up that stuff. And Barry can go straight to the PC. While I'm there. only organize these, huh? Alright, save that. Alright, then we gotta come back here. This is easier to do it through here than actually picking it up. At one point, I was using my Game Boy Colors to also do this. And I'm not gonna lie, guys, it took so long to go between the three versions, like just on your own, that I just said, screw it. I put all those poison cure berries in here, the bitter berries, the para well, not that, the burnt berry, the ice berries. Mint berry. Alright, not organized by kind. Organized by kind. And now we'll save. Oh, I missed an item. I don't want to quit now. Go back. 11 paralyzed cure berries. Because apparently we can't hold the universe in our bags. And last but not least, Silver Version.
Oh, this has been a productive stream, I think. We did a lot. We visited a lot of locations. We caught a lot of Pokemon. So, yeah, I think it was a good stream. And thank you guys for popping in and watching. Another big thanks to uh, Yoji1116. Is it? Yeah, 1116. Yoji 1116. Thanks for popping in and giving me the follow. I truly appreciate it. Anything to help my channel. I will always appreciate from you guys. And there we go. Alrighty, guys, you know what time it is. It's time to plug the socials. So, uh, go ahead and do that in chat real quick. So, if you want to see, or if you want to be in the, I don't even know what I'm trying to say anymore. If you want to know what I'm about to stream, go ahead and give me a follow over at Twitter.com? X.com? You, you know what it is. Twitter slash X, whatever you're calling it. Twitter slash X. Give me a follow over there if you want to know what I'm about to stream. If uh, Give me a follow over at Instagram.com slash Lee.Mustang. Oh, actually, it's tech. How am I going to do that? I'm so all over the place. All right, let's start over. You want to know what I'm going to stream? Give me a follow over at Twitter.com slash Mustang. If you want to know what I'm adding to my game collection over time, go ahead and give me a follow over at Instagram.com slash Lee.Mustang. And if you want to catch the previous parts to this long play, as well as any other Let's Plays, long plays, and reviews that I may have done in the past, give me a follow over at youtube.com slash Mustang. And if you happen to be watching this over at youtube.com slash Mustang, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Subscribe to my channel to help it grow. Click the little bell icon to be in the know, and I will see you guys in the next part. Until then, guys, take care.